Hello everyone, this is Kathy speaking from Divine Debut. Welcome to my channel. Hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas. Today is the 28th of December 2017. We've got three more days to go till the end of the year. And out with the old, in with the new. Welcome 2018. Right, as I said, this is the 28th today and these are your January readings, January love readings and if I see anything else that stands out to me I will be mentioning it. I will be using the Connolly Tarot which is a, um, a deck which I, I've used many times in the past. It's by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly and I do have a special special relationship with this tarot deck it just speaks to me it works for me and I do like to come back to it many times now the La Vera Sibila by Massangini is standard every month this month um, and when I'm saying month this reading is from the beginning of January till mid-month till around the 15th now tarot is not precise so know that the energies will be playing out a little bit before and a little bit after this is a general reading so don't go exactly by the date generally this is from beginning of January 2018 to mid January 2018 so that means obviously I'll be back for more readings after that now I'm also going to be taking an angel answer by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine it's an oracle deck and this will be taken at the end, so you will be forming a question, right? And the question hopefully will be answered with one of those oracle cards, especially for you. Now, I would like to say happy birthday to all Capricorn people out there. Happy birthday to all of you. And hopefully 2018 will be, you know, something new. Um, hopefully with the drive of Saturn which has moved into your sign hopefully that will give you the integrity and the truth you'll be standing in your truth and you'll be working through the energies for the next two and a half years when Saturn will be in your sign dear Capricorns now for everyone else obviously we've got Capricorn somewhere in our chart so that means that you will be familiar with your chart if you are able to, you know, download your natal birth chart. If you have the time of birth and the place of birth, you can actually find your own natal birth chart and where everything is placed. Now, astro.com is a beautiful uh, website. It's what I use mainly. Um, we also have... Astrolabe, which is a very popular one um, for a free natal chart. Also, um, I would like to mention that Mercury has gone direct as of five days ago, so around the 23rd of the month. Mercury is starting to move direct, but he is not in his full speed mode ahead. So do give him, I think around about the 10th or 11th of January, it's all systems go. And a very, very important point here that I have to mention is that all the planets will be moving direct. So we do have a window from roughly mid-January till March, roughly mid-March, and I'm, don't... Um, I'm not looking at astrology so, you know, um, so intently because I want to concentrate, concentrate on tarot and I know a lot of you do visit my channel for tarot. So this is only a little bit of astrology. So it's just all systems go from now until about mid-March. So as I mention every single time, I'm not an astrologer, but I'm an astrology student and I do have the astrologers, my favorite astrologers that I do um, look into and I um, study all the details with them. They help me 
to look into the stars and see what the energies are like, um, what the weather is, the astrological weather is. So because I have been very, very busy recently with, you know, moving house, as everyone knows, moving house, trying to get organized. This is, you know, brand new for me as well. I moved into a place um, <laughs> which is really, really funny because it's an old home but it needed a facelift, so I've put in a lot of hard work, and that's what Saturn is with Capricorn. As Saturn moved into Capricorn, I moved into this old place, which I've put a lot of hard work into in the recent past. So, and it's really, really funny because, you know, it's funny how we say, as above, so below, and I believe in that. I do believe that that works, you know, so... I think I will leave it at that. I've already spoken too much. Um, I am going to start with the sign of Capricorn because Capricorn was done last month. Lastly, I had misplaced the reading, so they had to wait an extra day for their reading. Plus, everything is happening in Capricorn. There is a party in Capricorn. So, um, dear Capricorn, I'm beginning with you. Let's see how we go this month, the month of January, beginning of January. On to your readings, everyone. And before I do that, just wanted to thank everyone for everything that you do for my channel. Thank you, thank you so much. 2017 was a wonderful year. I'm hoping to give you a lot more in 2018. I will be here. Thank you so much for those of you who have bought personal readings it is my pleasure to do them for you. Um, the clients that have bought readings recently will have noted that I am incorporating astro astrology into my tarot readings. So I'm also rebuilding my website. I'm adding more readings. Skype is on full, uh, full throttle, yes. Um, I will be looking into more of the social media for those of you that are following me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'm so looking forward to a very, very strong year, uh, a very laborious year for me, I know. Capricorn is all about labor. And we've got all systems go. So thank you, thank you to all of you. Hello, dear Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy. How are you all? Thank you for being here. This is your January, early January. Love and general reading. So from the 1st till the 15th of January, because I will be back mid-month to do some more readings for you. Okay, we're only a few hours away from 2018. Today is the 31st here in Sydney, Australia. Let's see what's happening for you. Dear Universe, Spirit Guides and Angels, what are the messages for Scorpio? Scorpio and their love life, early January, first two weeks in January. What's happening and with Uranus moving direct, is there going to be a surprise and what is it going to be? Okay, I'm ready. Scorpio. Looks like we need to take this pile here. The general energy is the will of fortune. This is Jupiter in your sign. Jupiter is in Scorpio, bringing in change, luck, abundance. Okay. Beautiful, and I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot. In the now position, we have the lovers. Your challenge is the Ten of Swords. In the distant past, the Four of Swords. In the recent past, Nine of Pentacles. Crowning your reading is the Emperor. In the near future, the card of Leo. That's the strength card. In your position, 
the position of you and how people see you. The King of Cups. In your environment, we have the Queen of Pentacles. In your hopes and fears, there's Six of Pentacles. And the outcome card is the Hierophant. Well, we've got a few people here, don't we? Two more cards, Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay, Virgo, 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 Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Leo. And this is you, of course. This is you, dear Scorpio. So in your environment, you've got a Virgo or a Taurus individual. Okay, let me see. Now we've got the Wheel of Fortune. What's beneath that? We've got the Queen of Rods. Okay, another Queen. Wow. What is going on? We've got the Emperor up here as well. This could be Aries or Taurus, they say. Mostly Aries for me. What is going on? So I believe that this is, this is probably Leo. This is a Leo person because we've got the strength card here, right? Now the Wheel of Fortune here. Obviously, as I said, the wheel turns, it brings in change. As you can see in the Morgan Greer Tarot here, there are three people, there were three people sitting on that wheel, and one is coming off the wheel. So the universe is getting rid of someone here. In the now position, we've got the lovers, which is karmic. Karmic relationship, the lovers is a number of six, so it speaks of balance. Now this speaks of a sexual relationship, a relationship which is very karmic. And again, it could mean that you are making a choice. We've got the Ten of Swords here. That is your challenge. So the choice that you're making is whether to leave this deception. You've been deceived. Someone has stabbed you in the back. As you can see, I would think that you've been stabbed in the back. So you're making a very, very strong choice. Very, very strong choice here. In the distant past, we've got the Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Many times the Three of Swords stand out to me here. And the Fourth Sword is usually down the bottom in the Rider weight. So it does speak of heartbreak for me, the Four of Swords. And of course, it does speak of taking time out, right? So a period of waiting, right? So this is in the distant past. So I believe that you did take action. Even you did pause for a while. You took action, right? And with the recent past, the Nine of Pentacles, you took action in the sense that this is a very, this is a card where you are on your own, you are standing alone, you are standing in your own strength, yes, financial uh, stability you have, you don't have a problem there, financially you are in a good place, I can see, but emotionally you are feeling something is missing, okay, um, now in some cases for some of you, the deception could have been in relation to finances. Okay, finances are the problem, were the problem. Okay, so something has happened where you've had to stand on your own financially. Now, this is in business. It looks as though there's been a deceptive energy here. So maybe, maybe you've taken your sword in the past spoken your truth and so you are standing you were standing alone in the recent past now crowning your reading is the emperor 
and the emperor is a number four it does the emperor speaks of stability now this could be someone in your midst someone who I believe that you um, can depend on this person this is an Aries individual okay and we do have the eagle here which does stand for Scorpio so for some of you this could be showing your energy as an entrepreneur someone who's been through hardship someone who's got the experience okay and you are looking at the facts right you are standing in your strength financially you are fine okay and you're going to be a leader you're going to take control but there are restrictions okay because the Emperor does remind me of Saturn and Saturn is all about restrictions and as we know the Emperor is quite a stern person he is not someone who is very romantic he you know he takes care of business and he if he has to step on toes to do it he will do that so it looks to me as though you are taking charge of your life if this is someone that is supporting you in your life then this is a very strong person someone who's there who's there who's solid who's stable for you and that's a very good thing this could be a father this could be a grandfather this could be um, your boss right now in the near future we've got the strength card so this speaks of patience uh, being wise okay trusting in your abilities trusting in your own strength and again because this is the card of Leo now Leo is where the North Node is okay and Jupiter and Mars are squaring the nodes squaring the North Node in Leo which is tough energy okay usually with the North Node in Leo we are going for what our heart desires that's what Leo is all about okay some of you may be involved with a Leo now it might be a Leo who's got Earth in their chart as their rising or moon sign as well or it could be vice versa it could be the other way around now in the advice position and how people see you you are showing up as the king so you are stable you are mature okay and you've got a very very strong intuition do trust in that you are very loving nurturing okay you can be emotional though at times very emotional now there is a full moon on the 1st of January in Cancer which you know it's going to affect everyone and of course you being another water sign okay it is going to be very strong there is a lot going on in your life dear Scorpio things that are hidden are coming to the surface with Jupiter there to be taken care of of course Jupiter is a lucky planet and the fact that it's in your sign is a very good thing but you are going through a lot of transformation now the death card has come up in each and every reading either in the tarot or the Sibelius so transformation is happening for everyone for everyone and especially for you obviously Pluto is in Capricorn you may even be dealing with a Capricorn we've got an earth sign here as I said it could be Virgo because you've got the hermit okay Virgo is very strong here now in your environment with the Queen of Pentacles this is someone who's external to you this is someone who is very stable loving and nurturing financially abundant state stability okay this is the mother of earth another business owner someone who is very capable and very slow moving this is not a spontaneous energy very well matched I would say Scorpio and Virgo if that's what we're talking about here I think that this is a very strong match here
in your hopes and fears you are hoping for balance look we've got the scales here six of pentacles giving and receiving finding your balance within a relationship or if this is business of course you are hoping to get to a point where you can actually help the people who are less fortunate to you this could be you know a, a, an energy of um, giving a, giving out giving what the universe has given to you you are hoping to be able to give to others okay because when Scorpio loves when Scorpio is happy okay they can be very 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 giving because they love very deeply okay they're not very open you're not very open but you do feel very strongly now the Hierophant is a number five this is the outcome the Hierophant is a number five and fives always speak of external uh, factors coming in to bring change now the Hierophant also speaks of change this is a very spiritual card we've got two major arcanas in your outcome okay two very strong cards okay so this is karmic whatever is going on in your life at the moment speaks of karma now look at the Hierophant he's got two keys two keys two different colors colored keys two very different people coming together now if this is a partnership in business I think that it's going to bring in balance for you but with the hermit here it says that you are trying to go within trying to find your balance right the hermit is taking time out looking into the lantern and looking for the answers so what are you going through because both these cards are very spiritual okay now the Hierophant can be some hierarchy if this is if this is in relation to a corporate situation a corporate um, business you know then this means that there are uh, structures structures that you have to go by you have to stay within and do things the right way do things by the book okay now if this is dealing with your religion with your belief system okay you are it's as though you are transforming okay because both these cards very very strong they they speak very strongly about spirituality now with the ace of pentacles here this is a new beginning a new beginning whether it be business whether it is a marriage because we've got the priest here we've got the priest we've got the beginning okay this could be the priest that is blessing a union right now I don't know why but I feel as though for some of you you may be transforming and changing your belief system some of you may be even changing your religion religion in relation to a relationship a commitment okay so this could be a new beginning in a different belief structure different religion could that be the case and you are finding you are finding um, people in your family that are standing against you whatever the case I believe that in the near future with a strength card with a lot of um, internal work right looking within and you are very deep looking within I think that you will find what you are looking for you will, will find the answers so there is drastic change coming in for you drastic change let me take some more cards and this queen of 
rods just flipped open again. This is a very strong fire sign in your life. I believe that this is your partner here. So she's come up twice. And if this is the energy of Leo, this could be the North Node that is in Leo. You are going for what your heart desires and you are not going to stop. But you're going to have to be strong. Whatever your desire is. Let me look at the strength card in the near future. We've got the page of pentacles. So this could be a message that is coming through. A message which is helping you. It's giving you the idea of being able to grow on what you feel strongly about. Now this could be someone who is sending you a message that's going to help you move forward because pages bring in change. Now if you are dealing with an earth sign, as I said, could be Virgo, could be Taurus, and could even be Capricorn. This is probably a message of support that is coming in. Let me take another card here. So we've got the Nine of Wands. So it says that you've still got fight within you, but you're one step away from completion. Okay, getting to your goal. Okay, it looks as though you are putting up boundaries. It's as though you are building a fort and fighting, you know, the naysayers that are around you. Let me look at the nine of, um, what did I say, the, um, the queen of pentacles because she's in the environment position. She is around you. And we've got the four of cups. So this is an offer that is coming in an offer but it's not exactly you know your cup of tea it's not what you were expecting you were expecting something a little bit different now fours are all about our family our roots our home so this offer could be dealing with some sort of family matter it could be coming in from someone who's in your family. Let me take another card. And we've got a King of Rods as well. My goodness me. How many people do we have here? This is crazy. Anyway, so I think that your fiery, passionate side is going to be showing up. I believe this is your energy, okay? This speaks of being spontaneous. This speaks of taking this wand that you are holding, something that you feel very passionate about, right, and moving forward with it. If this is a creative project, you are going for it, okay? And... Um, Now the downside of, of the king, king of wands and of fire signs are that they can have a very strong ego. Now you have Mars in your sign. Mars is your, your um, the ancient ruler of Scorpio. And I feel as though you're going to be very passionate with what you believe in. Now if you look here, you are facing this queen of pentacles right here. So I believe that because, there we go, I believe that because this Queen of Rods here that showed up before, she's come out twice, right? Um, I said before that you may be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign, right? Who may have Earth as their rising or moon sign, right? So I believe that you are coming you are going to be showing up as much more passionate, right? And much more giving in the sense of your queen is showing up as a fire sign here. So she's on, you want to come down to the level. And I don't want to say come down to her level, but you want to, you are 
coming across as much more passionate, you are hoping to meet this queen halfway. That's what I wanted to get to. And I think that you are putting forth more passion than what stability at this point. Let me take let me take a card on this emperor. And we've got the six of wands here. So someone is being either egotistical, they're being very, you know, snobbish, they've completed something, they've, you know, been congratulated, right? And he can be very cocky as well. But also, um, this is a six, so that is finding the balance. So in relation to stability, you will be successful, okay? And if this is someone else in your life, another family member, they're going to help you to success. Let me take a card on the Hierophant and the Hermit. And we've got the sun. Remember I did say Leo. Okay, this is the card of Leo. So the sun is beautiful. It's a beautiful energy. It's clarity. It's love. Look at these two people gazing at each other. Like, you know, a twin flame energy we have here. Beautiful. Both people are on the same page. This is a union. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely. So the sun is here. You will be receiving clarity. You will be seeking the clarity through going within. And what you find is going to be very blessed, very positive. I just, <laughs> I wanted to say that I was going to look at the lovers with the Ten of Swords here. And we've got the High Priestess. So the, the High Priestess is all about secrets, all right? She's number two, number two of the Major Arcana. And number two is like an 11. It's like a new doorway. So we've got the six, which is the lovers. It's a uh, decision-making time, making a choice, trusting your intuition. That's what it says. Now, this card speaks of Virgo and Piscean energy. I just want to take one card and that is going to be on the King of Cups, which is your energy. And we've got the Four of Wands. So this Four of Wands in the Morgan Greer Tarot reminds me that there is no celebration here because there are no people in the card. So I feel as though there is a, a sense of lack, missing someone or something, okay? Something is missing from a family situation. This is a number four. Right, so there is a lack of celebration here for me. Let me take some Sabilis. What will we see first? Um, I want to look at this Queen of Pentacles, King of Rods and what this offer is. We have the Lejereza, which is the lightness of being. Okay, this is also a very sexual card, and this is a card of transformation as well. So, Anyway, nevertheless, it's a butterfly, right, which is something really beautiful. But we've got the Militare, which is the person who's on a mission, okay, and this person 
can have difficulties but this card for me many times speaks of Capricorn because it's like the soldier he has to climb the mountain he's got a difficult mission ahead of him and then we've got Donato which is like the Ace of Pentacles so there's going to be a transformation it's not going to be an easy route but it's going to get you to a stable place now this card says advantageous matrimony so for those of you that are in business together okay it won't be easy but you can really build on something here okay because I see and I feel as though there is a situation here where I've got business and romance together I see that very strongly Let me take, I want to look at the Wheel of Fortune with this Queen of Rods because she came out twice. So we've got Fortuna, which is the card of Jupiter. Okay, this is the Wheel of Fortune twice. Twice. So it's a 10. 10 speak of completion. Il Namiko, the snake. The enemy. Sometimes we're looking at the snake. The snake sometimes can be um, a sign of intelligence and wisdom as well. And then we've got the Artista, which is the discovery. So obviously, with Jupiter here bringing up what is hidden, you are going to work out that there is a snake here. That's probably why this person is being thrown off the wheel. Okay, the door is being closed in their face. Whatever the news is that's going to come in, and this, of course, to me, this is the energy of what Uranus is bringing in, information, a discovery, an aha moment. And again, this is the scientist, the solicitor, right? So something is going to come to light. So there's going to be a change here. And I don't know what this Queen of Rods is doing here. I don't feel as though she is the snake. I feel as though she is the one that's going to aid you. Work out who the snake is. I'm going to take uh, some Sabilas on this Four of Wands here. Why do we have an empty Four of Wands? Jealousia, pensiero, which is again, it's like the hermit. Someone's putting in a lot of thought here. And then we've got Donna de Servizio, which is again, this is like Virgo energy because she's the servant. Virgo is the servant. We've also got the hermit here. So very strong Virgo or Leo energies. Right, but this is a very um, beneficial card. This is a helper. Also, with the pensiero, this is a double hermit. So, there is something that you have regret that has come to light, but it's going to, you're going to be aided here. You're going to be helped. Maybe there is someone from your family that's going to help you. And the pensiero can be a solicitor as well. And I did speak of spirituality here. So maybe for some of you, uh, your family is against you, um, against you making a change in your life in relation to your spirituality. 
or maybe your partner is a very spiritual person and they are against your partner. Could that be the case? There are so many scenarios here. Let me look at this emperor. I want to see what that's all about. We've got La Mante, the lover. This is the Romeo, right? Then we have the casa, the home, the stability. And then we have the messaggero, which is news coming in. So the Lamantic is the romantic partner, but this could also be um, I'm sorry that I'm pausing. I'm just thinking for those of you that are dealing with the emperor here, if this is your partner, okay, if this is the, your partner, maybe some of you may be choosing between two people, right? The emperor, your, your partner might be choosing between two people, yourself, and the Emperor. This can be someone else. Let me take one more card. What's this news coming in? And then we've got the Belvedere. So this is being on the lookout or waiting for something to come in. Waiting for stability to come in. Waiting on news to come in that's going to stabilize you and that's going to bring you success. I think that's enough cards. Let me just look at. There are so many characters here and so many stories that it's just, you know, I need to stop because it gets too difficult after that. So we've got so many different outcomes here. For those of you, as I said, that have got an empty celebration here, this is in relation to jealousy. Now, if your partner is choosing between a fire sign and yourself, obviously you do have the Hierophant here, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So even though the Emperor has got the Six of Wands here, I still don't believe that this is someone who's going to win between your partner choosing them and that is because because the six of wands also can be a card of ego right and the emperor is someone who is of restrictive energy so I believe that because you are showing up as very emotional and of course you do have the Donna de Servizio here also you do have the ace of pentacles here in your external Okay, with your partner here, right, there has been an offer, but see with a four of cups here, your partner, maybe you've offered your partner this cup and that's why the, the uh, offer has not been received that well because your partner was not certain between you and another fire sign. That could be the case. But at the end of the day, by going within, and through spirituality, I believe, and with a sun card here, the clarity is going to, you know, the sun provides clarity and news. I believe that because the sun is the most positive card in the tarot. I'm going to take just one Sabila over here. So, stiff competition. Stiff competition with a militare here needing to, to climb that mountain and to accomplish that mission, it's not going to be easy, dear Scorpio, not easy at all. So let me take one card just for a bit more information. And we've got the Constanza, so something unchanging. 
something unchanging. I don't know what that means in your life. It is a bit of a neutral card. So for me, it says that something is going to be unchanging. So when something is unchanging, it says that it is quite stable. So it looks as though you're going to stabilize your your love life, your career, your business, Scorpio, but it's not going to be easy. Now, I need you to ask a question. Ask whatever question you like and let's see if the angel answers by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine, if they can answer your question for you. Spirit guides and angels, one, one card, one answer to their important question. Or Scorpio in January. Okay. A year from now. A year from now. That's what the answer is. So if, if that means when are you going to stabilize your life a year from now, it's not that far ahead. As long as you know you're moving towards that, then it is good. Okay, so it looks as though um, if uh, you are going to receive a year from now, it means that Jupiter will have moved out of your sign, right? And it will be moving into your second house. Second house is all about earned income, our value system. It is the house of Taurus, right? In the natural horoscope, it is. So Sagittarius um, is, if, if your sun sign, if your sun is in Scorpio or your rising is in Scorpio, then Sagittarius is your second house. And Sagittarius is people at a distance, foreigners, higher education, the guru. It is uh, all about law, legal matters, yes. Um, and of course, um, I'm, I'm missing something. And of course, I wanted to say that Jupiter, in in a year from now, will be in its own home of Sagittarius. So it's going to be very, very strong in your second house. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, dear Scorpio. Let me read from the booklet. A year from now, the event you are asking about will occur within this year or soon after. During this time interval, you're in, encouraged to stay optimistic and to continue with self-care activities and other preparations for your desire. Remember that other people's free will choices are involved. Your angels are presently working behind the scenes on your behalf, even if you can't immediately see the evidence of your answered prayers. That, so that means that it's, it's already happening for you. It's just a matter of seeing it for it to come to light, okay? The sun card, what a beautiful card to end up with. Dear Scorpio, I'm sending you my love. Thank you for being here. Um, hopefully you're going to have a wonderful 2018. I will be back, as I said, for mid-month, for the mid-month readings for January. But before that, I will be uploading for 2018, the first six months, January to June, love and general reading. So do look out for that. Now, I'm wishing you all the best. Keep well. I'll be back real soon. Stay put. Enjoy yourselves. And I will catch up with you real soon. My love to all of you. Bye-bye.